Something, something's wrong here. You know, I started yelling at my family, started taking it out of my wife. Walked in at Christmas time and I said, look, my, my wife was baking a bunch of stuff. And I said, why don't you make pies like my mama used to? She goes, why don't you make dough like my daddy used to? Yeah. <laughs> And I realized that there's something wrong, you know, the old, the old rental way, there's something wrong with that. So what I did back then is I said, man, I got to sell something. I mean, every other business out there makes money when you sell something. Real estate is the only one that tells you to go buy and hold on. And I'm thinking, saying, hogwash on that. I'm not making any money. So what I did is I sold one of my little houses. Well, when I sold it, what I did is I, you know, like for instance, I'd buy a house for 53 with $3,000 down. And I turned around and I'd sell to somebody else for sixty-three with three thousand dollars down. Now, if I sold it to you for sixty thousand dollars, we drop a contract and you'd owe me sixty thousand. I owed fifty thousand. You're paying me six hundred dollars a month. I'm paying out five hundred dollars a month. And I sat back and I said, "Whoa! Look at I got my down payment back. I've got this nice little money money coming in each month. Why don't I forget the rental properties? Forget the banks. You know, bankers will drive people crazy. And I'm serious. You know, people here in the audience and people out there at home." Bankers will make you feel like you're less than a human being. Is that right? They'll make you feel bad about yourself. So I said, I'm not going to make it with bankers. So I decided about, oh, almost six years ago, never, ever go into a bank again the rest of my life. Now I'm joking. You know, I go into banks and get cashier's checks made. I make deposits and things like that. I just don't go on the carpeting. You know, I, I don't <laughs> like those guys. I don't want to have anything to do with them. Um, can we tell jokes on the air? Sure. What's the difference between a dead banker on the freeway and a dead skunk on the freeway? There's skid marks in front of the skunk. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I, I, didn't, I didn't like bankers, and I didn't like rental properties, but I did like making money. And I said, you're saying, why don't I just go out here and buy and sell some properties like this until I get filthy rich? I mean, I'm talking filthy rich. You know, anybody getting rich in real estate, you're going to outgrow your friends real fast. You know, you, you know your friends say, hey, it's unnatural to own more than three houses. You know, they just can't handle that. But, you know, how many people out there are dragging you down? I mean, people are putting you down all the time. After a year and a half of driving cab and investing, I was up to $4,400 a month. And a friend came in and said, Wade, you know, he looked at my $4,400 a month every month for the rest of my life, $4,400, and now it's way over that. He said, Wade, why don't you quit all this and get a job? You know, they just didn't understand this whole thing about getting rich in America today. I like that concept of you can't just go from poor to being rich. You got to go on the road to become. That's right. But, but by the way, have you ever had a phone call? And I don't mean this to be offensive to anybody out there that has gotten involved because I've been guilty of this too. But have you ever gotten a phone call and the people say, uh, your friends call you and they say, uh, we're having a business opportunity meeting at our house. Today. <laughs> you like and you go over there and this guy's all excited and he throws a $20,000 check up on the screen that he made in one month, right? And you get all excited, so you, spay, you pay your $10 and you buy a bag of soap and you're one of them, right? And that person six months later is out selling knives and six months after that they're selling some herbal diet program, right? Have you seen that? Now, I really criticized that for a while. You know, by the way, I even criticized people who thought that they could buy a set of tapes, somebody's seminar, and, and go out and get rich, you know? Now, I'm kind of changing my thinking. I'm 35 years old, I've made a lot of mistakes. I was driving down the street about five months ago, and I saw in front of a hotel about 40 or 50 pink Cadillacs. You know, obviously it was a Mary Kay meeting, and I said, you know, I wonder how many of those women would not have a Cadillac if it wasn't for Mary Kay? Probably none of them. But now take a woman out of that setting, and take her over here and put her into a, another setting, another business. She'll probably be a success again. She's learned how to do it. You learn how to fight, how to handle people problems, how to, how to market yourself, how to do things. And see, there's no secrets to success. And the same thing here now. Matter of fact, let me make this even stronger. Um, I was, had a chance a little bit ago to buy a McDonald's franchise for $400,000. Now, they approached me and they wanted $400,000. And I said, okay, all right, I'll give you $400,000. How much money is that going to make me? And they said, well, if you work the store yourself, don't hire a manager, work there 10, 12 hours a day, and at the end of the year, you might. We've got a couple people making $100,000 a year. And I said, now, hold, hold. you're telling me I'll give you $400,000, I might make $100,000? Now, I, you know, we got a lot uh, a, a TV special here on my books today, but I sell a whole set of books. I mean, I've got a stack of books this high. I've written 15 books on real estate, and we sell that at my seminars for under $400. And I, I can't even count the people who have made over $100,000 a year by investing $400 in doing the program, and they have free time and everything else. Why would anybody want to spend $400,000 to possibly make something when you could spend and just educate your mind and go out there and do it all? As a matter of fact, I was up in Seattle a few weeks ago, and I looked out at the audience and I said, matter of fact, we could try it right here, you know. How many of you here in the audience, seriously, would like to make $100,000 a year? Then yeah. I have a question for you, and, and, and think hard on this. If you seriously want to make $100,000 a year, then why are you talking to anybody about making money who's making under $100,000 a year? Now, see, your mom and dad know how to make twenty dollars or $30,000, right? Go to college, get a job, do that. You talk to your attorney. Your attorney's making $40,000 a year. He can transfer your documents. Why would you ask your attorney investment advice? Um, the average real estate agent in this country makes $14,600 a year. Why would you ever ask a real estate agent investment advice? They don't know how to make money now. Don't get me wrong. 
If I find a real estate agent who really knows how to make money, I got a guy that's making 150,000 bucks a year, you better believe I'm going to talk to him. Now, last week, I, w I got on a plane with a guy, sitting next to a guy who made $50 million, $51 million last year. In one year from his company, he took home $4 million plus every month. He took home a paycheck. Now, you better believe, I've never made that kind of money. And I sat with him, we got off the plane, walked around for two hours. Man, I was riddling him with questions. How did your family handle it? How'd you do it? What time did you spend? He sold a lot of soap by the way, right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't mention names. Uh -uh. Uh, uh, no, but, but the point is, is that if you want to go to this level, why are you talking to people down here? You've got to get up there to that level. So what we've tried to do, and I know you've tried to do with your show, you know, I, I, I watch your show all over the country, and I've never seen, I know most of the guys you have on here. None of those guys make under $100,000 a year. They're making two and three and four hundred thousand dollars a year. Those are the kind of people to get talking to. When you've when you got a guy that's going to sell you information, and by the way, not take one dime of whatever you're making. If somebody buys my book, you only spend $16, that's it. That's their total commitment in me. You know, or they get a tape set for hundred dollars. That's it. We don't want ten percent of everything they're going to make. They just go out and do it, and they get and they get to keep it all. Okay, so you're excited about your ideas and the the things that you're seeing happen yes. for the people all over the country that you're helping make money. And by the way, let me tell you what I'm not excited about, and I don't mean to step on any toes because I know there's a lot of people out there who have spent four and five hundred dollars to take a seminar and learn how to go make money. And what I'd like to show them just in a few minutes. First of all, I don't see people getting very rich with rental properties today. The average investor, you know, that's going to go out there and start with two or three thousand dollars, they go buy a rental property and it is tough to get a positive, excuse me, a positive cash flow. I think that there needs to be some other way of making money in real estate. Now don't get me wrong, there are three reasons for investing in real estate. One is for cash flow. It's the old rental idea, buy and sell idea, something. And I've heard your seminar, you're saying, people, don't buy rental properties at first. Go out there and buy and sell something. Get a chunk of cash. Get some money in. The number one cause for business failure in America is lack of cash. So get some money. The second thing is build up some steady monthly income, and that's usually done by buying and selling for a while, getting some what you call flipper properties. I call them money machine properties, where you just buy and sell for a while, and then buy rental properties. And by the way, when you buy rental properties, you don't have to go buy it yourself. There are two ways of buying rental properties. One's a very active way. One's a very passive way. Active means you find it, you lock it down, you negotiate it, you buy it. And then there's a very passive way. It's where you put up your money and let a professional do the investing. And it's usually done in the form of a limited partnership. Uh, and and I, by the way, I recommend that. I say you can get good at making money or you can get good at saving money, but you can't get good at both. So what would you rather be good at? Let's go out here and get good at making money. I mean, how many people out there watching right now would like to have a tax problem? Why buy rental properties to solve a tax problem when you don't even have a tax problem? So let's go get rich first. So back to the money machine. There's four reasons why I do it. Why I buy and sell is very simple. First of all, I don't want to be a landlord. Okay? So when I sell, if I put in money when I buy a property, if I sell it and get my money back out, I've got my money. I can go do it again. If I buy a typical rental property, I put in my down payment, my money is gone. Right? So here, what I'm saying is let's buy and sell, get the money in. All right, get your down payment back. Next point. If I rent that house, a $60,000 house, I could maybe rent it for $500, but I can sell it for six dollars or $700. People will pay more to buy it than they will to rent. Also, the people buying the house will take better care of the property, and they'll make the payments in a better manner. Now, I have offices in Phoenix, Utah, Seattle, and up in Detroit. Now, we've got a, a bunch of stuff going on in Detroit where it's really depressed and the houses are down there. But what I'm saying is, look, it works everywhere. Don't buy it. Don't be a rental, uh, landlord. You know, you're going to get discouraged and quit. Let's get out here and get rich in this country. I mean, there's, houses is one way. I mean, you can get rich in anything. Once you learn how to make money, you can get rich anywhere. But houses is a good place because you need it. What I'm saying is this. You've got buyers. You've got sellers. You've got people who want to buy houses. You've got people who want to sell. Those are two constants. That will never change. All right? Banks programs will always change. Uh, government programs will always change. But the buyers and the sellers are always there. Let's get in the middle of that and make some money. That's great. Let's uh, go to a brief break. We'll be right back with questions for expert Wade Cook. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Viewing the author of Real Wealth, Mr. Wade Cook, former taxi cab driver who has some exciting ideas on how you can make money today. Your question. Uh, my name is Lou. Uh -huh. uh, how has the drop in interest rates affected what you do? Because I know you used to depend on that spread between the interest rates well, the new yeah, but it doesn't really matter. You know, there's, there's people out there that have to sell a house. You know, it used to be when I first started that we were getting old loans and we would take over old loans on houses, you know, seven, eight, nine percent. Nowadays, the loans are all 10, 11, and 12 percent. And then when we sell, we charge a little bit higher. So there's no big deal. Again, and by the way, let's, let's take your question one step further. What about the new tax law? You know, everybody talks about interest rates and tax laws. You know, nobody ever gets rich worrying about tax laws or interest rates. You get rich worrying about finding good deals and making money. Okay, your question for Wade. Uh, Mr. Cook, yeah. I'm 19 years old and I don't 
have any really credit established. Okay. And I was wondering, what would be the best way for me to start off in real estate? First of all, don't ever tell me that to anybody. Okay? Yes. I'm serious about that. See, you got young people out there. A lot of women think that they're a disadvantage because they can't go out there and, and do some things. Um, when you're out investing in a house, for instance, I walk in there. Imagine me. I was a cab driver. I mean, I'd walk, I'd get out of my cab and walk up and look at somebody's house. You know, you want to have some fun? Monday morning, walk in and talk to a bank and say, hello, I drive taxi and I like to get a loan. You know, it's like E.F. Hutton in reverse. You know, nobody wants to talk to you or say anything. First of all, don't tell them that. They say, well, what do you do for a living? So well, I'm a real estate investor and I got to buy two houses today or my wife's going to kill me. And then, what about your house here? And just get onto their house. Don't ever be on the defensive. Always stay on the offensive. So it's just say, you know, I'm a real estate investor. They don't, nobody's going to ask you. You don't look 19, by the way. But nobody's going to ask you if you're 19. You know, they want to know how much money you have. They want to know if you're a good credit risk and all that sort of thing. But just, you know, prove your point. Dress nice and wear a nice uh, uh, a sports coat or something like that. And just act the part. You know, nobody will ever ask you that. Thank you. Okay, we had another question over here. Slide down this way. Uh, yes, uh, my name is Leonard. Uh, uh -huh. Hello, wait. Uh, my question is, uh, since you're not that in favor of rental properties and the headaches of being a landlord, uh, what other ways do you use to shelter you know, your income? Oh, okay. Well, that's a good question. First of all, I'll use rental properties. Now, I think real estate is the hottest angle out there for, for buying tax write-offs, but not at first. Not at first. You go six months, a year from now, start making some money, and then start getting the tax write-offs. Now, two points here, though. One, is if I sell my house to you, and you're making me monthly payments for the next 25 or 30 years, I get to claim those profits as I receive them. You know, the IRS calls it an installment sale, and I get to claim my profits as I take them in. So I get to claim a little bit each year. So my tax bracket doesn't go that high, even though I'm making a lot of money. Two, is that now, once I'm down there, I can start buying some limited partnerships, start investing some money. Uh, Hal's put together some big deals. A lot of people put together big deals. I can go in and spend five or $10,000 and buy a piece of their action, okay? And by the way, and, and this is not to hurt real estate, but the best tax shelters out there right now are not in real estate. They're equipment leasing companies, uh, cable TV companies, anybody that has a heavier write-off, there's a lot of good tax write-offs. What I'm saying is, look, at, you don't have to be out there fixing toilets at 2 o'clock in the morning trying to collect the rents. So let's get out here and start making some money. Let the professionals handle the tax write-offs. Okay, we have another question okay. for Wade. Uh, your question for Wade. Wade, Stephen Giffen. Uh, everybody's talking about flipping properties, yes. selling it immediately. Usually the ones you can get the best prices, the lowest prices on, are very slow area and then nothing is selling at all. That's right. The others that are selling fast, that are hot, they know it, the sellers, and, and you have to pay for them. Well, okay, and, and, and this is a nationwide show, and that's the truth here in, in the Los Angeles area with a lot of the houses here. Uh, and by the way, this is a more sophisticated market, which, don't get me wrong, I like sophisticated people knowing what their houses are worth, but there are tons of areas across the country. If we, if we start talking $100,000 houses here, I go to Kansas City, and people are saying, why are you always talking about such expensive houses? We got them all around here for thirty and $40,000. So Tell people what price you've been buying things in Detroit. Oh. If I tell you that, you'll freak. I no, mean, you'll I think want it's, you the to down, tell them. it's the down yep. payment you're, you're going to think. Yep. Oh, you know, we bought a house for $3,500. We're picking them up at two and three and $4,000. That's the total price. We're talking three and four bedroom houses. I know. You know? Those are in pretty bad neighborhoods, by the way. Hey, listen, I just bought a, I bought a 25 unit apartment building. Are you ready for this? 25 brick units, elevators, the whole thing. Total purchase price, $36,000. I better say that. I mean, that's 25 that. units. Now, though, to answer your question a little bit further, though, what we're talking about here is turning the properties. You don't buy unless you know you can change it. But hold it. I got a question for you. If you don't do the money machine concept, what, what are you going to do? Go out and buy a rental property? Go out and buy a $90,000 house and have a $1,000 a month payment and rent it for $600 a month? If you're going to get rich in real estate, what are the alternatives? You know, you don't have too many alternatives. You've got to do something to start making some money. Okay. What uh, I would like for you to do, Wade, is to uh, explain to everybody the special uh, okay. for the Money, Money, Money viewers, your tape album, and uh, explain to them what you have okay. in your tapes. This, this is my one-day seminar. This is what I've taught all around the country. This is eight cassettes. All right, it's eight, it's eight, eight tapes. There's a 43-page manual. The manual's all filled in, so you can take it with you in your car. All right, now this, we normally sell at the seminar for 149 okay? We're going to do it here on, on uh, for Hal's show for, uh, one, for $99, just for 99 But we're also going to throw in, you mentioned the book, How to Build a Real Estate Money Machine. All right, we're going to throw in that for free. And also, this is my newsletter. I have a newsletter called Inside Real Estate, 
We're going to throw in 12 issues of that, one full year of inside real estate. It's a future 12 Future issues or back issues? No, future issues. Okay. They will start so. as soon <laughs> good one. Um, as soon as we get as soon as we get the order in, then we will start the next start. month. You'll start getting this for All right, 12 so issues. The, I'm going to do one. The newsletter alone's worth $99. Well, actually, you? 79. We sell the oh. newsletter for 79, and we sell the you know the books in the bookstores, but we sell it too. But anyway, I'm going to do one more since you mentioned that I wasn't going to do this before. But I'm going to go ahead and put in not only the newsletters, but I'm going to go ahead and throw in real wealth too. Also, I'm going to throw in a bonus. When they get this in the mail, there's going to be a bonus something in there, too. So I'm going to throw in something else. It'll be a total surprise. I don't right? even know what it is. No, and you're not going to know either. But anyway, <laughs> we're, uh, we're going to do the whole thing for $99, That's everything. All deal. the books, the tape sets, the newsletter, everything. It's about, it's about $300 right here. That's a super opportunity with the newsletter your real estate money machine tape right. and that's a full one day program yes. with the workbook the oh, whole yeah. thing it's the whole thing you when you walk out of there you'll know the next day what prices to go look for what to do in the paper uh, how to go buy houses i mean you'll have everything answered okay wade what i'd like to have you do now is i'd like to have you give people a few money making ideas you know what it's like to have been poor let's talk about some specific okay. things that people out there can do to improve their lives. Can we do it in real estate and maybe do it backwards? Sure. You say money-making ideas. Let me give you some ideas that will help you save a lot of money. There's a lot of people watching the show that are going to get all excited about investing in real estate. And they will go out and do it for a year or two and they'll quit. They'll get discouraged and quit. If you quit, it's going to be because you haven't learned how to make money. You know, when I was teaching a seminar in San Jose, this guy comes up to me and he says, I was standing in the back of the room and he says, are you Wade Cook? I said, yeah. He said, you're the guy that wrote How to Build a Real Estate Money Machine? I said, yeah. He said, let me tell you something. I went out and took one of these two-day seminars and I learned how to buy rental properties. I went out and bought two houses and they were costing me $600 a month negative cash flow. He said, I had to get a part-time job working the graveyard shift at 7-Eleven just to pay for the properties. He said, I read your book. Two days later, I sold them and now I have $500 a month coming in for the next 26 years. Now, if there's anything I want to get famous for, Wade Cook and my books and, and TV shows is cash flow I mean when I die I want my tombstone to say Wade cash flow cook you know because it's cash flow it's cash flow that makes everything happen once you learn how to make tons of money you can do anything you can do all these other wild highfalutin plans now I've been invited by the Associated Press I mean they're the largest news gathering agency in the world and I've been very flattered that they asked me to do this I do a show every day on on, on uh, the AP radio network so I was gonna say you're on radio all over the yes. United States yes and we're picked up on all the major markets and, and the radio show is doing very very well on the radio show, it's called Real Estate for Real People. On this show, you know, because I've been doing this show on the AP Radio Network, I get tons of letters in and people asking me questions. I've noticed three problems. Three problems. If you could avoid these three problems, you'll make tons of money. So anybody listening right now, when you get involved in real estate, number one, even knowing that we can put a lot of money, I mean, I'm sorry, even knowing that we can buy a house for very little money, we have a tendency to put too much in anyway. Not only in the down payments, but in the fix-up costs. In some states like California, the Great Lakes stakes, even back in the East Coast, the closing costs are so high that you almost have to get a nothing down deal just because it takes so much closing costs to get the thing closed, all right? So you got down payments, closing costs, and then fix-up costs. You just start pouring too much cash into those properties. Forget that. Just put a little bit in, clean the thing up, and just you know wash it and paint a couple rooms. So there's too much money in this problem number one. Problem number two is when we buy, we agree to payments that are too high. You got to concentrate on getting low payments. And I spend a lot of time in my seminar just talking about how to get those payments down. And the third point is that we agree to clauses, phrases, restrictions, and wording that stops us from selling the property when it's time to sell. So too much cash in too high payments and too many restrictions that stop us from selling. If you could avoid those three problems, you'll make tons of money in real and estate. And that's what you cover in your real estate money yes. machine album. And we really get into those things. I mean, we want to go step by step through how to go out there and get rich. Right. If you would like to order Wade's uh, real estate money machine album, as bonuses, get both of his books plus his newsletter and some surprise that he's not even going to tell me about. The phone number to call is 1-800-453-1212. That is 1-800- four five three one two one two and in closing here what are some specific thoughts that you have for the people that are out there viewing of, of some things that they need to do okay when you buy real estate you're going to want to sell it someday in the future whether you're buying it as a rental property or not you're going to want to sell it then make sure that all the terms and the conditions of buying are conducive to selling that's point number one the other one i made earlier if you're going to get rich today you've got to surround yourself with rich people you've got to take guys like me and half the other guys you've had on your show you've got to take those guys with you in your car shove that cassette in there and surround yourself with good money making ideas all day long you know you got to think high and fly you just got to get up there and get out there and get going, and nobody's going to do it for you. I mean, if a poor cab driver like me can do it, anybody can do it. Okay, I can't have you on the show without telling one of your jokes. You're famous all over the country for the Wade Cook jokes. All right. 
Nobody came to this show, nobody's watching this TV show right now on real estate to learn any old ideas. They did not get out of bed today and say, I want to invest in real estate the way Uncle Henry did it. You know, we want new ideas. So my point is this, you know, it's like this guy goes into downtown Los Angeles. He walks into a bank. He says, I want to get a $25 loan and I'll give my Cadillac for collateral. The banker says, okay, draws up all the papers. The guy gives him the car keys. The banker gives him 25 bucks and he leaves. He comes back three days later and he says, I'm here to pay off the loan. The banker says, all right, it's $25. It's $1.75 in interest. The guy pays him the money and the banker gives him back the car keys. And as he's walking out the door, the banker says, hold it, this is crazy. Why would you ever give your Cadillac for collateral for a $25 loan? He says, where else can I get parking down here for three days for $1.75? <laughs> 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 We need, we need some new ideas in making money. We need some new ideas in real estate. I hope I can give people a ton of good ideas. See, I've never read anybody else's books on real estate, by the way. You were getting this pure, unadulterated cab driver, and I learned one thing driving cab, and I'll leave it with this. You don't make money sitting still. You make money by getting out there and hustling. You've got to do it. The number, again, for Wade Cook is 1-800-453-1212. You've been a fabulous guest. Thanks, Thanks. for being with us, Wade. This is money, money, money. See you next week. Would you like to buy a house with no money down? Would you like to get in on the real estate boom that could make you wealthy? Tony Hoffman, author of How to Negotiate Successfully in Real Estate, can show you how. Tony has a two-cassette course entitled Tony Hoffman's 10-Step Formula to No Money Down Deals. Tony Hoffman is recognized as this country's foremost expert in the area of real estate. He believes that real estate offers lower risk and higher return than any other investment in this decade. Tony's proven his techniques on national television. The Wall Street Journal reports didn't believe people could get rich by buying real estate without cash, credit, or banks. They issued a public challenge, giving Tony just 24 hours to buy a house in New York with no money down. Tony Hoffman did it in seven hours and has also done it in St. Louis, Chicago, and many other cities. Now, you can learn Tony Hoffman's techniques in the comfort of your own home. For the first time ever, the Bureau of Real Estate Education is making available this two tape course by Tony Hoffman titled Tony Hoffman's 10-step formula to no money down deals. Tony will show you how to get started with little or no cash. Tony will show you how to invest even if you have little time. Let others do the work. Use other people's money. Learn how to attract wealthy partners. How to turn equity into cash. How to get back all the taxes you have paid in the last three years and much, much more. To get Tony Hoffman's 10-step formula to no money down deals, call 1-800-453-1500. That's 1-800-453-1500. These tapes are a $39.95 value, but they're yours for just $19.95. Call now and we'll also send you a free bonus. Tony Hoffman's special report, 10 ways to buy property with no money down. Keep these tapes for 14 days. If you're not happy, send them back, but keep this bonus as our gift. Call 1-800-453-1500. That's 1-800-453-1500. Call right now. 1-800-551-5700. For the tax-exempt income chart. For information, for a prospectus, high tax-exempt yield without worry, 100% insured portfolio. Income in moderate families, uh, such uh, people as senior citizens, uh, dis uh, people on disabilities, and people that own uh, um, welfare. Okay, so in other words, does the government send you the check? <laughs> yeah, that's correct. The government sends you the check. Do you like it that way? Does it come on time? Every month. <laughs> Every month, yeah. Now, wait a minute. Lamont, now let me ask you something. You put $20,000 in your pocket on one deal. What, what did that feel like? Well, uh, it's, it's the housing authorities, and uh, that's where uh, tenants uh, that are signed up for the Section 8, yeah. that's where they register at. And okay. you register as an owner, and they register as a tenant. Okay, so it doesn't matter what city you're in in America, HUD or the government has an office that they can go in and they can apply to uh, get one of these low-income houses, true? That's correct. Okay, very good. Thank you very much for your experience. Let's give Lamont a hand, folks. Thank you very much. Paying attention to their business. Okay, number two. Number two is capital. That's your balance sheet. That's how much you owe and how much you own. More weight is given to that in Canada than in the United States.
but doesn't quite <laughs> doesn't quite get it by. Ken Stills alertly on the ball. Now he's been starting for the injured Chuck Cecil and playing well through the first two weeks. 